What's up guys? Jason, Flow Packs. Let me get this camera set up right. Um, this video over right here is going to be a little tip that I learned from uh, my brother, Joy Boy Racing. And uh, I heard about it back in the day and I never tried it. And I decided to try it out and pff, it's night and day. So I decided to go a little different with what I put on the tires, but same method. A lot of people say you can take uh, WD-40, spray it on your foam tires, let it sit, and it works. Um, the only problem, the very next day when I would run the tires, they would chunk up bad. It made them so soft to where any little rock would just tear them up. So I decided to uh, try some different things after reading a lot of um, people's reviews and what they do and forums and whatnot and uh, a lot of people said lotion and that's cool um, put some lotion on there wipe it off and I decided after reading a forum from a guy to use SPF 50 sunscreen a lot of the forums said SPF 35, SPF 30. I just did some 30s a minute ago. They were decent. So I pulled out the uh, Water Babies SPF 50 and put them on there. And pff, what a difference. Let me show you. Okay. Some old GQ tires I got almost a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, one of the tires broke apart, but they've been sitting outside of the bag and they are super dry. If I was to try to run these, they're going to fall apart. So... I'm going to take the worst one, this one, out of the group. Put that one over there. And I got some old uh, Gone Banana tires. These things, I mean, the, the light shows no justice to where they're just so old and worn out. And again, I'll take the, uh, the dirtiest one. I'll take this one. Put that one over there. So you just take some uh, SPF 50. Put it in your hands. And you just lather up that tire. You just get it covered all over. Make sure to cover the whole thing, even the sides, because that's where most of your ripping is going to come from, is the side of the tire. You're just going to cover it up, the whole thing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a plastic bag that I swore I just had up here a second ago. Oh, there it is. You're going to take a plastic bag like the tires come in. And you're going to drop it in there. let it sit there all night long but if you're in a hurry and you want to do this you can wipe it off instantly and it's still the same effect it just won't go down as deep what I like to do if I'm in a hurry I'm gonna shove that SPF 40 50 here I'll get a nice little glob going on there as you can see it's right there I'm gonna work it into the tire see how it's kind of going in there it's disappearing I'm going to work it into the foam, especially if I'm in a hurry, like I said. I'm going to work it in all over the sides, too. Push it in. Throw that in the bag. Let it sit overnight. But like I said, not all of us have that much time. You don't have to clean the wheels first, guys, to do this. Because you'll notice that a lot of the dirt's going to come off right now. So I'll let that one sit for a few minutes while I do this one. I'm going to rub it in real quick, get it all inside the foam. It's crazy how good this uh, works. Now that SPF that I'm using um, on a black wheel, it did like kind of stain it. So if you work it in though, see how the tire starts coming out? The SPF starts disappearing. So what I like to do is I like to take it like this and just rub it. And you'll see all that dirt coming off all over the whole thing you're just gonna get all that nasty dirt off now that you got the whole thing you're just gonna take a rag and I'm using like these paper towel shop towel things if you were to use a cloth it'd be better get it off faster but you really got to push to get inside the foam to get all of it to pop back out like a pimple good thing too is that stuff is uh, UV resistant 
so now the sun isn't going to affect your tires. It's not going to be able to dry them out again as easy. So even brand new tires, I've been doing it. I got these brand new VSRs and matrix wheels I just did it to. And uh, that way the sun can't affect them. It won't dry out as easy, I don't think. We'll know over time, but I'm going to keep wiping this tire, guys. See all that dirt that's coming off? Just filthy. See how it's starting to get a little cleaner? Now, before and after. Let me see if I can get that light better. There we go. See how the original shine came back to it? You can see the little rubber in there. And, uh, man, it's night and day. This one right here spins real easy. This one, not so easy. That's no pressure. Look at that. This one, after it's clean, it's like new. Like I said, these are some old uh, gone bananas. It brings back the softness to them. If you know, after they get older, let's see, there's the one with the SP. See that one? As you get older, there's a lot of, uh, it's almost slick. And there's no traction to it whatsoever. There you go, a little bit. Now let me clean this one off. Just flip the rag around. And do the back side. Man, I wish we could have got these foams back in the day. Man, these are all the foams that Australia uses. GQ brand. And they're top notch. RC Target got them for me back in the day. Uh, we we're going to try to get more. But it fell through where it's too hard to get stuff from Europe it's just not cost efficient to get them so they never came through but they got the matrix at least I know there someone was out there running and said they didn't hold up for them they've held up for me and uh with foam tile tires man it's it's really a gamble honestly every time you go out now I understand if they're tearing off from the glue or something then now obviously they were they weren't made right from the manufacturer but Foam tires do break. I'm always going to give two two tries to any foam tire to see what they do. Before I give them a bad name. BSR, I went out two different cars. They ripped apart on me. But, you know, John from BSR and Tommy, the new owner, are going to try to make things right. They believe that there was air bubbles in the underneath the foam. Maybe it has to do with the humidity change or they just need different glue where they're at or whatever. But... Anyways, there's the brand new GQ. And I still got a little bit of scrubbing, but look at that. You can see all the open cells again, how the foam opened. You can see how squishy it is. This one right here, it's hard. See, I can't even squish it. Squish it, squish it. <laughs> but there you go, guys. It brings them back to like a new shine. Like I said, you just barely rub this one. Do the same thing over here. It brings the whole mat. Try it out. You're not going to hurt your foams in any way. But I just wanted to give you a heads up of what they're going to look like afterwards. Undone, done, undone, done. It opens up all the cells again. Cleans them off and it makes them soft. Now when I did let them sit overnight, I had some... Uh, X01 foams that I got from my brother Jim Wiggs and he got them done from uh, Gone Bananas. I let these ones sit overnight and they were super dry and now they're just so soft. Look at that. They feel great again. So 24 hours actually does help a lot guys. If you're in a pinch you can do it the way I did it but 24 hours is the way to go. And another thing guys, always put your foam tires back in the bags when you're not using them. If you plan on running next weekend, fine. Leave them on the car. That's cool. I do it. Um, let's see. There's a car right there. See, they're sitting on them waiting for me to go out. But if they're in the bin over here, I try to keep them. These are the brand new BSRs. I just uh, put the 30 or 50 SPF on my Matrix. A lot of Matrix now. 
but I always try to put them back in the bags, guys. This one goes to that one up here. Um, even the GRPs, I try to put them back in the bag. You don't want them to dry rot on you. So put them back in the box, in the bag, even Ziploc bag, whatever you got to put them uh, away. If you don't, they will dry out on you. So there you go, guys. Night and day difference. You can see from the side just the color difference and how they came back. So these ones are dry. If I was to run those right now, they'd probably rip apart immediately. These ones got some softness left to them, so they're good to go. New one, old one. See the difference? You can see how old it looks on the right. But there you go, guys. A little tip. SPF 50, 35, 40, 45, whatever you got, it'll work. I've never tried the spray kind, so I couldn't tell you. Also, like I said, WD-40 does work. Um, let me take the one that I didn't do. WD-40, same thing. I like to spray it in my hand and just rub it into the tire, all the cells. Now, when you use WD-40, guys, um, it's going to soften your tires dramatically. It's night and day how soft they get with this WD-40. So, it brings them back, helps to clean them. But for drag racers, this is excellent. Speed runners, huh? I don't know, it makes them a little too soft. See all that dirt that just came off? Look at that. It's taking it all off. Should grab a new rag, but I don't have any right here with me. I got it good enough, but you can see all the dirt and crap that comes off them. WD-40 works good, but it also isn't going to leave no SPF 50 inside your tires, you know what I mean? There you go. There's the one I just did, and there's the WD-40. Cleans it real good, and it softens it up immediately. Real soft. But, for me, like I said, they get too soft for me. For drag racers, might be perfect. This one still has a little bit of slipperiness to it, just from the WD-40 on there. I'm sure if you kept working at it and getting it off, it would come off. But, um, And I'm sure there's still some dirt left on here. Yeah. But yeah, if you sit there and work at it, some elbow grease will come out real nice. These ones are already, just like when you get them out of the package, they got some... Uh, grip to them these ones like i said they're a little more they slide a little more easy but they're softer so there it is guys there's my little tip for the day on how to rejuvenate your foam tires i already showed you with the grp tires get some naphtha um, m-a-p-t-h-a rub the outside of your tires put them in a bag and when you bust them out they will be super soft your first run will be excellent so Get some naphtha, wipe it off, or even some acetone. Just be real sparingly on the acetone because it will eat away the glue. So just wipe the outside of the tire with the acetone. Don't get it all on the edge or nothing, but just wipe it real quick and it'll bring those GRPs to life. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out Matrix Foams at RC Target. Uh, Flow Packs. Thank you guys for all the support, man. It's been overwhelming support i'm literally getting 20 to 30 to 40 orders a day and uh i'm trying to keep up guys i really am thank you for being patient with me normally i used to get them out in one day now it's taken me two or three days to get them out so thank you for being patient with me i appreciate you thank you for all the support still uh fastest speed team in the world team taff baby give a shout out to my team uh just a good bunch of freaking dudes in there man we all click and we all got each other's back, and uh, it's hard to have that right now in the RC game. Not too many uh, do that. There's a lot of uh, double-sided people in the RC game. But anyways, Team Taff, thank you guys. Thank you to all the subscribers. I really appreciate you. Um, I was thinking if I end up getting 1,000 subscribers real soon, I'll give away like a spool or for the Limitless or for a, a Typhon or something like that. And... Uh, Maybe if I get up to like, I don't know, 1,200 subscribers, I'll give away a flow pack and a spool or something. So, tell you what, we get 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to just go ahead and call it out right now. 
you can have a pick out of a limitless spool or a Typhon spool. I'll, uh, once I get a thousand subscribers, I'll make a video. Whoever comments in that video with a number between one and 1,000 or however many we have. If we have a thousand, five, thousand, twenty, whatever, I'll pick a number and uh, that person will get a spool, man. So, and then if we get 1250, I'll do a spool and a cap pack. Screw it. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and, and all the good comments I get. I really like that. So, thank you guys. God bless. Do your tires. I'm out.